difficult transition from player to coach. For me, it was uh, it was an interesting transition because I had to stop because of a major back uh, injury which I, I live with. So to be able to coach now, so many years and so and and have some really high end uh, talent from Leighton to Gail Monfils, Joe Wolf and Songa, um, and now Grigor Dimitrov, it's pretty exciting. I'm like a kid in a lolly shop. So fantastic opportunity. I love it. Your greatest fear, probably losing sport to my daughter, would have to be my greatest fear. <laughs> and her greatest fear is not being able to beat her father. Where is your favourite beach? My favourite beaches are in, in South Australia. Henley Beach, I love the Cosmopolitan inside of that one, and uh, Maslin Beach, it's nudist. Why not? <laughs> Can you pull a funny face? My face is pretty ordinary and people are laughing continually at it, so I think standard is pretty good. <laughs> what does it take to be a good coach? Not to be afraid to not have the job. I think it's uh, pretty important. Sometimes I don't want to hear what you've got to say, but you've got to be able to say it and deliver that message and learn also, be prepared to be a listener. You've got to be a great listener uh, because your talent will also educate you on coaching and actually get you to develop your coaching skills and assets courtesy of the player that they are as well. So uh, be a good listener and be prepared to deliver as well. Of the new players on the block, who has the most potential? Well, we've got a couple of good kids in our country, that's for sure. They've got passion for the game. They don't mind sticking their chest out. I love that, a little bit of arrogance. And then, you know, the, the young man that I coach, Grigor Dimitrov, I think is a good a potential and good a talent that's running around the globe right now. Uh, tennis is gonna really enjoy uh, his journey, that's for sure. Uh, your greatest love? I love helping children. I have a foundation, the Roger Rashid Sports Foundation, and we uh, we go out there to create a sporting infrastructure and go into extreme disadvantaged communities, try and remap a, a community, engage them, and actually give kids a pathway in life through the usage of sport. So that's uh, that's one of my uh, outside of my family is my is my greatest love. How has Leighton Hewitt developed since your days of coaching him? Uh, he's just matured as just a an adult. He's a he's, you know, he's a family person now. Three kids, beautiful kids, uh, but. His competitive nature and hunger to play the sport has just continued. It's a great strength of his, a great passion of his to play and compete. So it's, it's been interesting to watch him uh, um, grow up and, and develop, but he's still got the come-ons. And I can't wait for his kids to start giving it some uh, in the future as well.